the box of razor blades that have been sitting on my counter for two weeks. On a night when the sky has crumbled around me once again, I'll greet you like an old friend. When the brittle stillness of the summer air shatters around me and launches me westward, I'll find comfort in your words. The melodious murmurs of a better day lost in the pounding of the shower because that's when we converse the most. The water washing away reed receipts and careless whispers of nights gone by on my trampoline and in our best friend's shower. When you first found your words to etch into my skin, canyons of deep thoughts streaked across canvases meant for something greater but instead falling victim to your hurtful words. He'll kiss them and for a while I don't feel broken by your vacant expressions. We'll find your words sitting in the office of my therapist and my mom will start crying right where she sits. I'll try to comfort her and assure her you meant well, but she won't listen. And she'll tell the therapist everything you were too afraid to tell me, lying through your jagged teeth on a downward spiral into a slew of hate speech against my skin. Everyone always talks about your wrist kisses, but it's the way you talk to my friends that hurts the most. How you'll tell them I'm hurting, crying out for help and making them worry while I try my hardest to push them away. You'll make summer pool parties drown under pity equivalents, friend invites ebbing into your screams. How nobody wants to invite you anywhere anymore because you won't stop shrieking, agonizing shouts, desperate pleas for help. That I'm now eternally trying to silence but I can't. And when the eye doctor checks my blood pressure, she'll hear them too. When I hand the cashier my card, he'll listen in, the handshake of a future boss drown in wails of terror. You'll find a way to keep your name in my mouth. Me and my friends share your siren song for too long. We'll wear your cat calls like badges, your slurs like letterman jackets. We'll hold on to each other's words forever. I find myself longing for a long conversation with you, the most during all-nighter sunrises. How I know I am most alone in that moment. How easy it would be to get lost in thought with you. How maybe venting tea would fix a lot of this. I haven't wanted to talk to you in a while, but your words will call to me eternally. So to the box of razor blades that have been sitting on my counter for two weeks... I hear you, but we're not in speaking terms anymore.